Calvin Castine at Northeastern Clinton Central School. It's the eighth day of December 2022. And we're here for our first Cougar home game of the season. So, plug that microphone in. Let you sound yours a little better. First uh, home game of the season for the JV Cougars. Let's see. Drew Nighthawks and the Northeastern Clinton Central School Cougars. So, all you former Peru Indian fans, they have for the past couple of years been known as the Nighthawks. Just like the Cleveland Indians are now the uh, Cleveland Guardians. This is Max Rabideau hitting the first. Let's see who's out there. We got uh, Aiden Brett, 33, Max Rabido 34. We see Logan Tremblay underneath. Uh, I don't know why he's trying to get a rebound. Uh, I always uh, figured my teammate was going to make it, so I never went for a rebound. But the other guy do all the work. Oh, pretty fancy move there by... Oh. Must have been 15, I think. Uh, all I saw was a five. That would be Trenton Taylor. Here's a steal. And a lay-in. By Jake. And Jake Frechette. What number was he? 24. 24, yep. Jake Frechette. Who takes it away? We'll give you both rosters here. Uh, let's see on the floor for the Cougars. It also is two. A Ashton Turner. And uh, who else the other guy bending over here? Not going to stand up till uh, <laughs> sign your shoes. There we go. Twelve. Jacob Perkins. So for the visitors, uh, 30 is uh, Connor Harati. There's a steal. And a basket by Brayette. Let's see, uh, Harati is 33. Three is Barry, Connor Barry. 24, as we said, is Jake Frechette. It's a kick. 23 is Layden Delarond. And 15 is Trenton Taylor. But the one on his shirt keeps folding over, and I keep, all I see is a five, and there's no five on the team, so it confuses the heck out of me. Our score, by the way, is 4-4. 6.04 to go in the first period. Temperature in the upper 30s right now on this eighth day of December. Had a nice stretch of mild weather that's going to get cooler tomorrow, but we can't take away what we've already experienced. Four on the shot clock. There's going to be a call of shot clock violation or a held ball here. Uh, they're, going to, they're going to call it one second on the shot clock. Number one reports in, Chris Williams. He replaces Frechette. Roddy inbounds. There's a shot from one. Didn't hit the rim, so it's Cougar ball. 5.45 here in the first. And laid in by Taylor. Over to Turner. Perfect pass is picked off. Turner gets it back. Tries to get it to Perkins. 
but it was stolen by Taylor and have a turnover. Now we have timeout. 518 on the clock when the ball was inbounded. And Perkins into the forecourt. Tremblay. Over to Turner. Rabidou. The three, no, too strong. Rebounded by Taylor. Williams tied up by Rabidou. Calls off Rabidou. 35 second shot clock, so they're only, only eight seconds off it thus far, so it's 27 when the ball was inbounded. In the paint, missed layup. And controlled by Rabadou, but he is fouled. Tremblay into Perkins. Craig Botton is the coach for uh, the Cougars. Uh, Should have mentioned that right away because the first thing he did when he saw us here was walk over with a, a roster in numerical order in numerical order that's so much handier so we appreciate that Greg Botton Tremblay will bring it up steal and oh foul beyond Rabideau Julie will be here taking some photos. That's going to send uh, number 30, Parate, to the line. It's 6-4 uh, at the moment. 3-54. Whoops. <laughs> I was not looking for a close-up of Taylor. I, I'm looking around for the score and uh, <laughs> the old fingers on the zoom here. So. <laughs> And in the meantime, all you Trenton Taylor fans got an extreme close-up. Who's this guy? 20. That's uh, Elijah Hendricks. Spells his last name just like Jimmy Hendricks. But he's Elijah. So, Barry scores to make it 7-4. Perkins. Lost it. Don't, don't walk away like that. Don't help the referees out. Jamie Labarge doesn't need any help. <laughs> he's a highly paid veteran official. So he uh, doesn't need any help. So if your bow bounces off your knee, go out there as if it was knocked out by the other guy and let the ref make the call. So... Uh, don't give up and walk away because if there's any doubt in the ref's mind, it will kind of confirm that uh, he saw what he really saw. But if you uh, kind of indicate that you're expecting to inbound the ball, give him some second thoughts. Williams inbounds. Tremblay is showing some good defense there. Shot from the elbow is banked in. Trenton Taylor taking it to the bank to make it 10 4. 10 4 in favor of Peru. Rabidou, nope. Uh, put back up by Brayette. And we have a whistle. Third team foul on Peru. Number 20, Hendricks with the foul. Brea shooting. That's the first. And the score has been changed. 
to nine before, now nine five as that basket, second basket counted. I thought uh, it was uh, seven and then all of a sudden it said 10 and I knew it wasn't a three pointer so I just don't argue with the scoreboard. Tremblay gets it and he's gonna be called for a, a, ooh, a foul on Williams. I didn't know if he'd be called for a, a travel. Uh, Williams, uh, his second foul. 9-5, 238 showing. We're in the first quarter on this Feast of the Immaculate Conception. December 8th. They'll shoot two, Rabideau at the line. Foul is on Taylor, his first. Team fifth. Too much. Too much bounce on that one. He was halfway down and came back out. Uh, 32, we ain't got no 32s. Uh, Liam. Liam Clark, I had him down for 22. So obviously, I wrote it wrong, whether I wrote it wrong because it's my error or it was in the scorebook, but we'll never know. So Liam Clark is 32 instead of 22. 2.03 showing in the first quarter. Noah Bowles, the old W.E.S. is the coach for Peru. Good hustle there by Briette to get the steal. Rabideau to the paint, to the hole I should say. And makes it 9-7, minute 35 showing. Good hustle. Good hustle there by uh, Delaron. No, number three, Barry, Connor Barry. Cougar ball on the possession arrow. 23 and 24 in for the Nighthawks. 23 is Delarond. 24 is for Chet. Tremblay will inbound it to Perkins. Tremblay would reverse. Oh, a reverse. Are you listening? Are you watching there, Roland Juno? Roland Juno used to make some reverse layups. Gary Enemet was famous for it at Northeast at St. Mary's, and then Roland Juno So that's a good idea, and he used to make a bunch of those reverse layups. 9-9, 51.7. Of course, that was uh, over 60 years ago, but who's counting? Tremblay pushes it way outside. Turner, you know, Rabbit is going to try a trade. And rebound pulled down by Delaron. 28 seconds to go in the quarter. 9 9 our score. And it'll be a Cougar ball. <laughs> no, that is not Steve Chris. <laughs> the uh, wiry radio guys are going to be here for the varsity game. So, <laughs> a couple. <laughs> Kids took advantage of the situation to keep the seats warm here. Dreaming of the day that might, they might do a wiry radio broadcast. What do you say? 3 2? Clark is first, team sixth. Rabbit at the line again. He could put his team in the lead here with 14 and a half showing.
Yep. <laughs> Time taker there. It took, it took a while to fall. No rebounded by Delaron. Eight seconds. What do you got? Travel. Six point four. Cougars are up ten nine. Perkins. Rabidou. Could be a 10 9 Cougar lead after one here on viewer supported local television hometown cable. Peru ball to start the second period. Ball inbounded to Frechet. Cougars take it away. Here's Turner. Finds Rabadou. Double dribbled. I thought. <laughs> I thought he double dribbled. Tremblay, Rabideau for three, no. Be a foul on Rabideau, I think. That'll be his second foul, team fourth in the half. Ball inbounded to a Taylor and Cougars take it away. Here's Tremblay. Now Perkins. Nope. Taylor with the rebound. Frechette with the ball. Controlled by Turner. Rabideau in the paint. He is fouled. No jump ball. Blocked probably by Barry. Although there are about uh, six uh, Peru hands in there. So, uh, a block makes it a jump ball or a held ball. The possession arrow comes into play, comes deep for Tremblay. Top of the arc. Yeah, here come the Indian, the uh, Nighthawks. Karate's pass goes a little wide. Goes to Tremblay. Rabideau, nope. Rebounded by Delaron. Oh, basket by Delaron as he got open underneath. Paint and basket by Brayette, Aiden Brayette. Perkins trying to get it to Turner. White ball, 12-11. Cougars, Cougar, each team has scored two points thus far in the second quarter. Stolen by Turner. Indian, <laughs> I'm going to call them Indians all night here. Yeah. Nighthawks take it away. 
Laid in by Barry. And Pearl regains the lead. 13-12. First game we ever recorded was 39 years, six months, and one day ago. And it was Peru against Northeastern in uh, Section 7 Softball Championship at South Acres. And the Cougars won it. Delarong scores to make it 15 12 with 425 showing here in the first half. Oh, looks like somebody's been visiting the concession stand. Yeah. Peru ball. Looks like they found some pizza there, huh? For Shaq, we'll bring it up. 4-12. Second quarter. First half. Rabidou. Perkins, Ravidu, Tremblay, more pizza, more pizza here, all right. Assembly, we go one and one. That's your seventh team foul on the tenth, it becomes a double bonus. <clears throat> Over and back. That's what you gotta do, you gotta play it, let the refs make the call. Well, that's what Frechette did. Rabbit will inbound. Stolen by Barry. Travel call. Of course, behind me, we've got the, uh, see Wiry over there, behind me, we've got the NFHS cameras. Uh, don't know if they do the JV. I'm sure they'll be having the varsity game on the uh, camera. Travel. Off white. 306, 15-12. Come over, Rabidou. Come on, ra closer, Rabidou. You gotta go out where the ball went out. Not where your practice or inbound play, but where the ball actually went out. Perkins for three. That's Jacob Perkins makes it 15-14, stolen by Turner. Turner to Perkins. Tremblay looks underneath. That was Williams with the steal. Thirty-four. That's Max Rabidou, and he puts the Cougars up eighteen fifteen. I thought they were down by one. 
going to the scoreboard. They're up by three now. I'll let them worry about the score. Oh, we got. Thirty and thirty-two. Thirty-two is Liam Clark. Thirty, Connor Parate, in for Peru. Too strong on the shot by Perkins. This is Taylor. Off white. One forty-three to go. Eighteen fifteen. Second quarter. Brett turns. He is fouled. Partially blocked, but how can he be partially blocked? Either it's blocked or it's not blocked. And a foul on the block. Tomorrow, team, we're going to work on our foul shots. Your foul shots start at your toes. And it puts your body into motion. 1915. 122 on the clock. Ten. Nineteen seventeen as Williams scores. Whoa, that's a walk. <laughs> Nice basket, but a walk. Almost a steal by Tremblay. 33 seconds to go in the period. All right, well, the Cougars look for the last shot. One shot, says Coach Botton. 24 seconds. 1917 Cougars lead. Tremblay takes it early. Turner gets the rebound. And Rabideau gets the bucket. We're at six seconds. So their one last shot. Plan needs a little work. <laughs> no basket. 21 17. Cougars at the half here on viewer supported local television hometown cable. Cougar ball to start the second half. They have the four point lead. Rabideau back to Perkins. The three up. That's Rabideau with a trade. The Cougars, their biggest lead of the day is seven points now, 24-17. That'll be a kick by Turner. First shot. Ready is Parate. Taken by Turner. Perkins up to Tremblay. Good Tremblay the assist as Briat scores. And it's 26-17.
midway through the first period, it looked like Peru was going to start pulling away. Stolen by Perkins. Fifty-four in the third quarter. Peru ball. And a layup. <laughs> By 23, Delaron. For second half points for Peru. Tremblay tied up. Uh, and then Brett was tied up. And now Rebidu is fouled. Foul was on uh, Barry, his first. Abidu hits to make it 27 19. <laughs> 28 19. Nine point Cougar lead. Good hustle. <coughs> Perkins up to Rabideau. <coughs> and the Perkins. Williams with the rebound. Now stolen by Rabideau. Perkins back to Rabideau. Brett. Triple teamed. He was trying to get it back to Tremblay. Possession arrow be Peru turn. 28-19, 5-42. Showing in the third quarter. I'm out. Williams in to uh, Karate now. Barry's pass over to Taylor. Underneath that was uh, Dilaran who has the ball taken away. Rabadou will bring it up. Nineteen five oh three to go third. <laughs> Off the rim, rebounded Brayette. That was Taylor with the shot. The Rabidou from Perkins. Knocked out of bounds by Taylor. Another satisfied customer at the concession stand. Taylor will inbound. By uh, Barry, rebound and Delaron is fouled. 
Foul is going to be on 33. Brayat is first. Four sixteen on the clock. That one falls in. Twenty eight twenty. Perkins to Rabidou the Perkins. And stolen. Barry with the layup. Back to a six point difference, 28 22. Off white. Now, if Perkins had headed the other way, the refs may have decided that uh, it was off him, but uh, they had to make the call, and I think the call was made correctly, but. Uh, Still, you let the let the refs do the the refing. You do the playing. Foul here on uh, Williams. That's his fourth, according to the scoreboard. Perkins at the line. So Williams is going to be, be replaced by Fouchette. A three shot foul there. Brett tried to tip it to uh, Turner. Who was get it back? Uh, Turner to Rabideau. There's a 10 point Cougar lead, 32 22, 333 to go. Technical. Technical foul on number 15, Trenton Taylor. Not quite sure what that was all about. But he has been teed up. So he'll decide who's gonna, Button will decide who's gonna take the shot. Looks like it'll be Rabadoo. That's the third foul on Taylor. We get another one, and the Cougars will keep the ball. On the count. So 33-22. Trumble goes for Briet and he's on the line, I think. Yep. 319 is slow going here. A lot of whistles. Trumble comes out with it. High high dribble. Carry. You're going to have a high dribble, but uh, you can't be pushing the ball forward when you're dribbling that way. Your hand's got to be over it, and your uh, ball's got to be going completely straightly up and down. Rambley trying to make a steal there, but he didn't quite do it. Frechette will inbound. Three minutes. Mr. Orange Sneakers is in there, that's 23, uh, Deleron. Got those things, those sneakers glow in the dark. 
So, basket by Clark, and he's going to go to the charity stripe. Basket will count. So it's known as an and one. And the foul is on. 33, Brayette his second. And makes it a three-point play. Clark, and it's an eight-point difference. 33-25. Rabideau missed it by quite a bit. Oh, tough angle there for Barry. Nice play by Peru. They're back to within six, 33-27, two minutes, 12 seconds in the third. Barry with a steal, and he's good at those layups. We're going to have a Cougar timeout. The lead is down to just four. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. The Cougars came into the half up by four, and their lead is four right now. Three seconds. Three seconds. Oh, my. Jamie, Jamie gave him a long three seconds there. Getting the benefit of the doubt, but <laughs> he's finally had to call it. Help the referees out. If he lets you stay in there like that, hustle the way out. Don't just casually leave the three-point area. Traveling call. 127 on the clock. 33-29. Is the score. Both teams have scored 12 thus far in the second half. Rabideau and Perkins. Nice for Briette. Fires it up off the rim. And rebounded by Clark. Three pointer would make it a one point ball game. Turnover. Brett gives to Perkins. Steal and basket by Crochet. And it's a one basket game, 33 31, no foul. be the fifth team foul on Peru. It'll be who's it on? Number three, Barry is third. 30 seconds. Jump ball. Rabidou tying up Parate. Cougars turn on a possession arrow. And Turner gets it to fall. Excuse me, uh, Perkins gets it to fall. And 23 is in for the Cougars, Otis Reed. Turner gives Perkins up to Rabideau. Foul, I believe, on uh, Frechette. That'll be the seventh. The sixth. Apparently, it's the sixth. 4.4. 4.4 on the clock. Oh, after three, it's 35 31. The Cougars here on viewer supported hometown cable. Rubo. Four point game, just as it was when the second half began. It's 
now a one point game as Liam Clark hits the three bagger. Rabideau tries to respond. Good thing for him, Turner was there for the rebound. And off white. 16 on the shot clock. Perkins, over to Turner. Rabideau. Nope. And controlled by Frechette. And now for the lead. Nope. Shot was taken by Clark. Off Rabideau. Travel slid that with that back foot. Known as the Berry Shuffle. 656 to go. Two-point ball game. Cougars with the lead and the ball. But a lot of time to go here in this one. Perkins hands off to Brayette. Throws it up high off the window, and it's 37-33. 70 points have been scored thus far in the game. Short, and put back, that was good. That was Clark. Back to a two point ball game. Rabideau to Perkins. <clears throat> Both teams taking turns, throwing it away. Rabideau works, works it into the forecourt. Short, and yes. Barry catches it after the long pass from Perotti, and he's going to have a timeout. Perotti will inbound. Stolen. From Barry by Parate. Oh, excuse me, by Rabidou. <laughs> I don't know how I got Parate in there. Rabidou now rebounded by Parate. Two point game. Drew looking to tie it up or take the lead. Fouls on. It says 24. Watch it to me. He's 24 and he's not in the game. I'm not sure who the foul is on. Five oh eight. Cougars are hanging on to that two point lead. Tremblay is back in for Northeastern. The corner for Tremblay up to Perkins. He goes to Brayette. Rabideau will try it. Nope. And rebounded by Clark. Still 37, 35, 447 to go. For the tie, we're tied. As Clark gets open and scores to make it 37, 37, four and a half showing here in the fourth. So about 12 after 6 right now, so the scheduled 6.30 varsity game is going to be a little late getting started.
And we got your uh, Williams back in with his four fouls. Travel. Over here. Over here. Well, we've got 12 and a half percent of the game remaining here. It's a tie game. For the lead. Might have been Delaron. <clears throat> but 39-37 now, Peru. They lead for the first time since the first half. Tremblay working hard underneath, but the ball <clears throat> didn't get a friendly bounce for him. So with three minutes to go, Peru can add to their two-point lead. And that'll be a foul. <clears throat> foul on Tremblay. <clears throat> I'd like to say every fan in here is a excited about the game, but we got one that's more worried about a coloring book. Imagine that. <clears throat> Exciting JV game going on. <clears throat> She's worried about a coloring book. My gosh. Much rather see a kid with a coloring book than a phone in their hands. Two fifty six on the clock. And you got your Barry back in. And replaces Frechette. Who goes down by two. Who goes for just two points thus far in the fourth quarter. Two thirty six to go. Peru, India, who uh, night hot basket by Delaron, and we got a timeout. Cougars are down by four. Two and a half to go. 41-37. Peru. They've outscored the Cougars 10-2 in the fourth. Rabideau with a short jumper, won't fall. Rebound by Rayette and off white. <laughs> Rabideau to inbound. Perkins, left handed shot is in and out. And Tremblay ties up the uh, Delaron. Peru turn, 2-11 showing. Adding to the Peru lead is Williams, 43-37. Perkins takes it to the hole. 43-39. Cougars take it back. Cougars 
Oh, the ball falls off the rim. 1-12 to go. Stolen by Rabideau. No basket before the shot. Before the shot. <clears throat> Bad break for the Cougars. The basket went in, but it's clearly before the shot. It'll be fifth foul on Williams. <clears throat> and will be replaced by Frechette. <clears throat> so, Rabidou <laughs> had two points, but after the, after the foul. Misses the front of the one and one. Who is taken away? Turner gives to Perkins. 53 seconds. Rabideau. Cougars down by four. They need some shots. Three-pointer by Perkins. Makes it a one-point game with 36 to go. I'm going to call a foul on the Cougars. 33.8 remaining. 43-42 is the score. Thirty-two seconds on the shot clock, thirty-three point eight on the game clock. One point lead for Peru. They'll try to hang on to that ball for as long as they can. Jamie Rabideau explaining the situation here to <laughs> Coach Bowles. Not sure what that <laughs> dismissive little wave was all about. Cougars are not in the bonus, so five second jump ball. And Cougars turn on the possession arrow. 26.1. Do the Cougars hang on and look for a game winning shot? I think not. I think if they get a shot, they got to go for it. Not run the clock down. They trail by a point. Shot is short. And we're going to have what we got. A foul called. On Peru. Foul was on Peru. So Rabidou can, shooting a one and one. He, he can tie it with the first if he makes it. We are tied. With 10.8 remaining, he can give his team the lead. No pressure. I see that first shot was the big one. So the Peru timeout is uh, to have a game plan, and of course, ice in the shooter doesn't hurt either, but it shouldn't matter. Have the shot falls off. So we have 8.6 on the clock, Peru ball. 6.2. Tripped away, and we're going to overtime. So we're going to four minute overtime here. And Perkins to Turner. Rhett goes for the rebound. He's tied up. 
by Delaron. 334. Inbounded to Parade, you know, traveling called him Barry. 319 on the clock. It's about 629. Varsity is scheduled for 630. Rabideau, shot is deflected. Fifty-nine seconds into the four, into the first overtime. Yes, I said first overtime. I'm hoping first and only, but you never know. White ball. That is deflected, and who gets it back? Barry throws it up. And Peru will keep it. Foul on Turner, apparently. Uh, let's see, since, uh, let's see. Two, two, Steven Santor for Peru. Isaac Hathaway. I think those guys haven't played. Uh, for the Cougars, Robert McIntyre, Talon Rabidou, Kayes Carpenter, Isaac Boris, uh, Saad Wachitumi. And we saw Boris a little bit. Uh, not Boris, uh, Reed. I just read a little bit. So just so everybody's name can be part of the video. There it all. 2-10. Nobody has scored yet in the overtime. We will keep it. And the uh, Valeron scores. First overtime points. 45-43. Rebounded by Parati. 138 to go. scores. 112 on the clock. 47-43. 90 points have been scored. We'll just keep it. Tremblay can't save it. 57.2 less than a minute. So Peru has the four-point lead and the ball. Jump ball. There's referee Labarge. Cougars turn, just under 50 seconds to go. I 
think he did it. I don't think he, I don't think that uh, back foot moved. <laughs> he looked guilty. But I don't think the back foot moved. He sure looked guilty though. A little cougar ball. Ravidu to inbound. Brett. Turner gets to Tremblay. Cross court and out of bounds. 31.6 to go. Through ball. Point lead, 20 seconds to go. Burial foul will be a one and one, or yep, still one and one. Hit by Barry, five seconds to go, an eight point lead for Peru. Peru did not score in the overtime, so 51 43 victory. The Peru Nighthawks defeat Northeastern Clinton, and that's the way it was. And CBAC Junior Varsity Boys Basketball on this December 8th, 2022, in beautiful downtown Champlain. You're watching viewer supported local television, hometown cable. When Lose or draw TV worthy of your support. Thank you for watching.